Hello, and welcome back to the cove with more Frostpunk. Alright, so we've only got a little while left before the big storm approaches, so we best keep on going. We need a little bit more uh, roadage, apparently. Let's, uh, let's put that in. And that oh, Alright. And what's going on here? Multiple problems. Too gold. Can't be worked on. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. We will sort that out shortly. Uh, yes, a couple of days. I, uh, yes, unfortunately, uh, had to uh, not be able to release an episode yesterday. I had some family from interstate pop through, which was very good to see. It's been quite some time since I've seen them. And uh, yeah, just could not get out. Uh, could not fit in any recording time. Alright, so the temple has influenced more people. That's good. That's working well. We still have... Yes, we now have our food at capacity, if I remember correctly. Uh, we can hold a total of... Oh, we have a total of 3,000. Okay, so we're a little bit short. Well, if we just plan to get this done right away, let's go ahead and go to our resources. And this will... Hmm... What does a regular storage depot hold? Let's have a see if we can see these small ones here. Okay, so that'll hold an extra 450. We need... Yeah, okay, so we could get away with one. But realistically, I think it's best if we can have a little bit more than just that. So let's go ahead and uh, sort out another... Oh, actually, you know what? No, we're going to hold on. We're going to wait till we get that technology done. Make sure we have the steel. We do not want to get into a position where we are unable to do what we wish. Alrighty, oh, so far so good. Uh, our scouts, yes, that's right. They're going out to the final couple of locations. Hopefully they'll make it back with a decent amount of time. And, uh, oh, wise, we'll be able to check that. Wrong one. Our coal surplus is quite substantial. Alright, and we have two, oh, what's that, just under three days. If we double that, that'll bring it to just under six. We're definitely going to need more as well as that efficiency, so we'll need to keep on going with that. Alright, coal consumption from the generator reduced. Phenomenal. Alright what to do. This will go quadruple. That's tough. Uh, exploration. Could we go for more automaton integration? That could be useful, since we do have a handful of those now. Or maybe we go for the advanced coal mine. Or maybe the steam, or the steam coal thumper. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll work on our coal generation as much as possible. So, that'll take 9 hours, 10% extra, um, realistically, I think we have, what is it, I think we have 3 mines and 2 thumpers, if we increase 10% from there, that'll bring us to 660, whereas this will go from, yeah, about an extra 100. So it's about the same level of difference. Hmm. Well, you know what? We might as well just go with the one that's going 24-7. So let's just pick up the coal mining optimization. Actually, no. Let's go for the highest one. We have a couple of steam cores left. Let's go ahead and use that. Yeah, that's what we'll do. All right. Uh, this content seems to be going all right. We have people who are cold in their homes. That seems a little peculiar. And on there, oh, gathering post. Okay, fair enough. Uh, where is the home? Right, let's make sure we're making food. I think we can afford. Do we go with the standard meals or do we go with some soup? How long do we have? Six days. Yeah, I think we're just going to be safe and go for soup. Let's go here. We'll make... There we go. That's right. Food rations. That's what that was planned for. And let's go ahead and keep going with the coal. I 
definitely going to need a lot of coal. 75 steel and 150 wood. Okay. I don't think we actually have any any wall drills, do we? We end up making a bunch of those. Uh, we have one of them. Yeah, let's see if we can go ahead and get another. Uh, where are they? Wall drills. Here we go. You know what? We can pop on there. We may as well do that. We can always burn the excess wood to make coal. And everything else is A OK. Let's uh, bring that in. Let's go. Let's just run the path across this way. Actually, no. Let's just go straight down here. And then from there, we'll work our way across. That's far more even, and we can probably put in a... Uh, what do we call it? Gathering post. Alright, we have plenty of steel. We're going to... What do we wish to use that on? We don't want to hit our cap. Uh, Housewise, we are fully upgraded. That's good to see. Maybe we can go for a couple of shrines. Yeah, you know what? A shrine sounds like a good idea. Let's make sure that our buildings are all A-OK. -okay. As productive as possible. Let's go... Yeah, we'll put another one in here. Is there anywhere else that's not yet affected? Not from what I can tell. Oh no, there is one back here, but again, I think that's fairly uh, insignificant. Yeah, we'll hold on to the wood. It's not worth spending at this point. Is there anything else that we can do? Uh, house of prayer, that's no good. We're not going to do any more steam hubs. We have too many of those. We can't. We have no spots for a uh, outpost. Mind you, it's way too late in the game for that. Resources. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, no, I think where is upgraded as possible. I don't see any particular issues that can be fixed. Yeah, no. Alright. Uh, Food-wise, maybe we go with... Uh, is there anything that just costs us wood? Hunter's huts. Alright then, let's maybe chuck a couple on there. Uh, we're not really using them at any other time, so let's just put one there. Oh, and that'll be enough. Okay. Let's make sure that we have as much uh, food generation as possible. For some reason we're down to two steam cores. Hmm. But we can always cannibalize a automaton if we need. Alright, what have we got? We have purpose and adaptation. Uh, we're not going drilling, we're not going at triage, nor idle labor. Or at least not all of the jobs. What's a. Uh, ooh! New fate. Well, everyone must be devoted to the survival of our cause. All of those who do not follow will be swept aside? Uh, hope will never be a problem again. Hey, okay. uh, Londoners will have to renounce their views not that they exist anymore. Public execution space will be built. Ooh, boy. Some people will feel compelled to fight this war. Some of them will die. Well, uh... A little drastic. Let's just let's just go for the righteous denunciation and uh, see if that helps. All right, very good. Now, what else have we got? Yeah, we need the food. We need the upgrade, and then to recall everyone in. So so far, we're looking fairly fairly decent. Oh, and here we are. So many uh, yeah, legitimate concerns. Like obviously, you do find things out about people, but you also do have uh, with uh, such unbridled authority, you can easily abuse that. All right, what have we got here? Cookhouse. Let's turn on the heater. Yeah, you know what? If we have this many, I think. Yeah, we'll just leave that as standard. That should be fine. Alright, steel is no longer an issue. We have too much of that. Um, how's our housing going? 
could we possibly build any more? We have six vacant beds. We have rescued every single person. So that's, an, again, not going to be an issue. Make sure that that's still working. All right. I wonder if the scouting teams and the outposts count for our population. So let's just go ahead and double check if they're included in their housing. Uh, we have all of these people who are rather chilly. Is there anyone? No, they're all in the house. Hmm. Uh, okay, let's go. Building wise, yeah, it's only a care house and houses. All right, I'm going to assume that we do not have these people being looked after. So I think it was about five people per team. So that'd be one, two, three, yeah, one, two, maybe three extra houses. So we will try and accommodate them. But of course, we do need a little bit more timber first. All right, let's make sure that that's going. Now, do we have any extra automatons available? Not at this stage. Uh, what else do we want? Yeah, gathering post, that's fine. Why is someone not working here? So far, so good. And that's working. Oh, waiting for workers? Oh, okay. I'm guessing the uh, automatons are reheating or whatever they technically do let's also go ahead and okay so that's a wall drill where are you working so that's the sawmill all right then let's uh turn you off there and put you on here and we'll send out workers okay let's just go with general workers we want to keep a fairly good Okay, single homeless person. What's going on there? May the Lord save all the workers from harm. Huh. Very cold. Uh, what was this one? That's the yield kitchen. Okay, so they're making things more bearable. I, I don't know what we can really do there. Alcohol kiln. Yeah, they're working around the clock. I think what we'll do is we're going to increase their shifts as well. Just try and get on top of this cold generation because... Oh, hang on a second. What are we at? Yeah, no. So we're at theme level two. We could possibly move up to three. So that will increase our coal consumption by 300%. So that would be an extra... Is this from our base cost? I feel like it probably is. So if we're going from 200 to 300, so that's an extra, an extra 50% on what we're already consuming. So if that is the case, uh, the generator, that'll go up to about, just double that to 1400. So that'll still be producing an extra thousand per day. But, that would mean that everywhere would not be cold and uh, can probably fight off some sickness. All right, I think that's what we'll do. We'll uh, do that at least for a couple of hours. Uh, at any point. Okay, so it actually has to go up to temperature. That makes sense. And, oh, there you go. You can actually see things start to get a little bit warmer. And there we go. Ah, very cool. I do like how the uh, pistons are cooler than the rest. That is uh, a nice little attention to detail. Alright, what's going on? Righteous denunciation. A tip from a believer. Captain, a woman has told us she overheard her neighbor talking about hoarding food and other supplies. We will follow the lead. Yes. That's good for us. Uh, food, we're halfway there. Again, we have six days. Six days for an extra 2,000. Let's double check that our numbers are working. Yeah, so we need 3,000 in six days. We need about five days. Well, five and a bit days, that should be fine. 
Alright, that's good. That's really good. Um, hmm. What else should we do? Oh, that's right. I think we will go ahead and build those houses we spoke about before. Let's, uh... Let's put one in here and in... Is there a uh, steam hub? No, they're not in range. Okay, we can go there. And then we can go there. So you know what? We'll do that instead. So we'll cancel that one. At least we know that that's uh, well within our current uh, radius of things. Right, we'll give you that. And... Uh, just run you there. There we go. That will go nice. Right, what else is going on? Sawmill. Yeah, it's awfully chilly out there. Unfortunate. But hey, it is what it is. We should also probably end up doing that infirmary checklist. I think that could be rather advantageous. But I don't think that there's too much we can do. Yeah, no, these are all definitely being looked after by our automatons. Yeah, that sawmill can just sort of stay there for now. Just given the fact that if we get the extra radius, they might get a little bit more. Alright. Wood-wise, we are fine. Actually, I that certain. Let's just double check. Yeah. Okay, we are producing enough. But we could do with some more. Uh, Health-wise... Only a single death. Okay, that looks plain why we did. And now we have four homeless citizens. That is... That seems a little bit odd. Okay, I'm a... Oh, okay, so the inhabitants. Right, here we go. We have 620 in homes. In homes, and the rest will be the people out. So I guess we still do need to, uh... You know what, we'll wait till those are done, and we'll see if they then factor into the numbers at all. Alright, so far so good I guess. Uh, we have run out of bodies, which is not a bad thing, but also not necessarily a good thing. We would have liked to earn a little bit more food if possible. Alright, well we've made it to Camp Compass. The people living in this camp are packed and ready to go. The tents are empty, they're leaving almost nothing behind. So, the area. Oh, a small group of scientists is finishing the loading of their supplies. They they work efficiently, but in silence looking somewhat dejected. We're, most, we're mostly helping with the evacuation now, one of them tells us. We've used to study the Earth's magnetic field, but there are more important things to worry about now, like survival. Um, there is... Hmm. Uh, they were set off on their own. It will take longer and some of them may die. The guards will bring them back safely. They will flee north and probably perish. Huh. Uh, we'll direct them to our city. But seeing that we have more locations to go to and how long things take, I think we're going to just go ahead and send them on our way or send them on their way we need to go ahead and check out yes yeah, so we're heading to meteor you can head to the fortified hut eight hours should be fine then we'll go there back and then if we can we will rendezvous with the survivors in uh transit all things going to plan hang on a second did we not ever Okay, turns out we never actually made that house accessible. Alright, let's check our economy now and our housing. So we have inhabitants and housed citizens. That seems fine to me. I think we'll... Oh, I think that may have... Oh, I don't know what's going on there. Oh, well, either way. I think that we will probably go ahead and make an extra house just while we think about it. That does show to be... Is that a steam hub? Yes it is. Alright, let's go ahead and put that down. And that should be enough. 
let's just bring you there. Alright, and hopefully all is well. Alright, what have we got? Advanced uh, coal mine has been researched. Fantastic. Frostbite. Amputation. Yeah, that's uh, Oh, that's what we could be doing with our steel. We can start peeing up a couple of prosthetics. Let's go and make five of those. And then as far as... Oh, what do we want? Oh, that's right. Uh, steam cores. That'll cost us one to upgrade. That should be enough. Let's go ahead and... I think we'll go for these two. Oh, and that was... I don't know. Either way, we need to uh, pick this up anyway. So let's figure out that tech. I think now that we've got the advanced coal mine, let's... Double down through the... Coal mine? A900, yeah, that's an extra 90. That beats. Oh, do we do that? Fish and gathering, that could be somewhat useful. Actually, you know what we'll do? Let's go for the boosted scout sled. Yeah, I think that could be best. Make sure that we get all of the other things uh, sorted out. Yeah, hopefully that will be fine very awkward trying to get through all the technology that you want to get done but at the same time uh just knowing it's not quite possible all right uh how are we going for temperature wise out here what's going on out here? is there a uh that's the steelworks and they're being run by automatons they don't need to be running a charcoal kiln yeah let's go ahead and uh we have a look at our tech. What have we got for a steam hub? 20 steel. You know what? I think we will. I don't really want to go through any more coal. If it does prevent people from getting a frostbite, it's probably worth it to me. Alright, we'll do with what we've got. Alright, we have a couple of prosthetics. That's good. That'll only take a little bit of time. Not that we need them to get back to work, but we do need them available if work is necessary. Alright, uh, we're going through our food, so we've actually run out for today. That's uh, mildly awkward, although we are very close to our to our uh, what do you call it? Our target number that we're going for. Alright, you know what? Let's definitely definitely go ahead and have a sermon. We can inspire the people to work a little bit harder. We should definitely try and do so. Uh, yeah, there's not really too much else to be done at this point, I feel. We're gonna we'll definitely be in the uh, faster time frame at the moment. Our whole generation. Oh yeah, we should uh, definitely see how that's going. Our coal efficiency. We are producing uh, approximately 3,000 per day. Well, actually, it's 3,050 to be precise. That is not bad at all. It's not bad. So even if we go up by an extra third of what we're currently consuming, third of 42, that should be about uh, 14, uh, sorry, 1,400. That would bring us... Uh, what is that? Yeah, that would still mean that we're in the positive. We could probably make it through some of these other things, like the charcoal kilns if they're not working. So we have a pretty good supply, even though we do only have two days of it. Uh, we'll definitely keep that going. Pardon me. Sorry about that. My, uh, yeah, my voice just seemed to be a little bit crooked. Alright, let's go ahead and make another resource depot, a large one. Pack. Let's make sure that we have somewhere for all the coal. Let's pop that in. You know what? I think that will do. It's uh, nice and close to everything else, so we may as well. And then, you know what? We may as well throw in a second one. Yeah. Just to make sure that we have more than ample sufficiency. Let's make sure that we have 
everything at our disposal. Definitely going to want more coal. Alright, scouts have reached the fortified hut. The fence that surrounds the Arctic hut has been destroyed, shattered as if a pack of wild animals went through it. So that's the area. Ill, an ill-fated project. Scientists who built the station designed it to withstand the Arctic climate. They clearly underestimated the fierce Arctic form. The doors and the windows have been bashed in by heavy blows, letting inside the cold and snow. Scientific and life support equipment froze and burst, booming the base and its inhabitants. Let's take the technology. Oh, free tech. That is awesome. Awesome news. Glad we came out this far. Alright, let's head to the ice caves. Yeah, and at this rate we may uh, very well be able to rendezvous with those survivors quite easily. We're still, uh, yeah, still five days out. But pressure is certainly mounting, and we can take any little advantage we can get. Hopefully it just will not be... Oh, we've lost our, our outposts. Oh dear. I did not realize that uh, that had gone. Alright, um, we're not going to send them there. We're not going to send them here. How long will you take to get back to us? Uh, prepare for the storm. Five days, nine hours. Yeah, it's certainly getting a lot closer now. Alright, we really are in for it. Let's go. A coal mine is bad. We're not going to go for food. How long will it take to uh, pull them back? It only take a day, realistically. If we get a drop every day, that should be fine. Right, that's unfortunate that we failed that. I really didn't think to uh, check that. But that's a shame. Alright, well, uh, let's, uh, let's maintain the coal mine for now. I think that's fine. At the very least, there will be a worthy sacrifice for humanity to survive. So they will go down as martyrs to the cause in our new faith. So you know what, I think we might actually leave things there for today. We, uh, yeah, we've made some pretty good progress. We've got some good things coming our way. Hopefully we'll do a little bit better in the next one and can, uh, can make everything happen that we need to have happen. If you do want to catch that episode, be sure to hit the subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content. And I will see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan, signing out.